Hi everyone, it's Vanessa. I'm here today to do the mid-year book freakout tag. I was tagged by the very awesome Alex at what page are you on? So if you're not subscribed to him, please do so. I'm going to link his channel down below. The first question is the best book you've read so far this year. For me, it is a tie for nonfiction between How We Fight For Our Lives by Saeed Jones and Saigon by Phuc Tran. Those are the two best memoirs that i read this year and for fiction i have severance up there by Ling Ma. question number two is best sequel read this year i have actually not read any sequels other than the fence series which is a graphic novel series i am not a person who reads series in general so this is not surprising to me at all question number three is a new release you haven't read yet but want to answering that question just reminded me that fence volume 4 just came out in the last few days and now i need it question number four is most anticipated release for the second half of the year here is where i have too many answers the thing that's closest to being released i really am excited about i got a monster which comes out july 21st and this is about very corrupt baltimore police task force creating all of this false evidence and then they got caught i am very interested in that story um i just recently finished watching the wire all the way through for the first time I'd watched the first season a few times, but I hadn't watched all of it. So now I am so interested in learning more about policing in Baltimore. The one that's coming out after that is Fighting Words, which is coming out August 11th. I'm really excited about this one. It's by Kimberly Brubaker Bradley, who wrote the War That Saved My Life series. It's supposed to be about sexual harassment, I believe. Everything that I've heard has been very positive of all of the people that have been reading the galleys. I also really want to read You Ought to Do a Story about me and this is a non-fiction account of someone who was in the public eye I feel like was involved in sports but I can't remember off the top of my head and then they stopped being involved in sports because of an addiction that they had and then there was an off chance meeting with a journalist a story started from there of the journalist wanting to get to know how someone who had it all quote unquote kind of lost it all to addiction and it's coming out August 25th after that I'm really excited about Three Keys which is coming out in September by Kelly Yang this is the follow-up to front desk and i'm so excited again everything that i've heard so far has been good i am ready to get back into mia's world and last but not least i'm excited about the follow-up to magpie murders so moonflower murders is coming out november 10th i tried the other anthony horowitz mystery series that he had but it was a little bit too meta for me like he is a character in it too and i didn't enjoy it as much as i enjoyed magpie murders so i'm excited to have moonflower murders and i hope we get back to the kind of charm old-timey town like we had in the first book we'll see though question number five is biggest disappointments i wrote down three for a graphic novel i have come again by nate powell who is an illustrator and graphic novelist that i admire for his work on the march series but come again was just not good and i didn't get it honestly and i'm not alone according to goodreads for middle grade fiction i put no fixed address this i kind of didn't understand the age group that the author was writing for and some things were kind of just played off in the background and didn't really have a reason for it to be there and it kind of confused me as to how old the audience was supposed to be and last but not least is a non-fiction book and it's the great pretender by susanna kahalen this book was a flop to me it was all over the place it didn't know what it wanted to be it was like part memoir part history it was really grasping at straws without having any true like evidence or like historical documents to back up like the argument it felt like we needed a follow-up to brain on fire but i feel like there needed to be a little bit more work or care to this story question number six is a biggest surprise so i put clean getaway here i thought it was just going to be a normal three and a half four star middle grade book and i loved it so much i gave it four and a half stars and i really was just taken into the story i really enjoyed the characters i enjoyed this journey that they were on i love that the american south was prominent in the road trip sense in the story and i know that it's kind of like an unbelievable story but it's also just like a very interesting story to me so i was super surprised by how much i enjoyed that book question number seven is favorite new author can be debut or new to you my favorite new author might be lulu miller who wrote why fish don't exist and i really enjoyed that book this one made me feel like this is a standout new person that i would like to read her future books if she wants to write more it's very 
genuine but it's also kind of dreamlike and thoughtful just made me feel like i was in my own little world with her as she was describing all of these ridiculous things <laughs> question number eight is new fictional crush i still don't have one sorry went through every single book that i read on goodreads to see if anything would spark for this answer it doesn't. Question number nine is new favorite character. I put two down. I put Genesis from Genesis Begins Again by Alicia D. Williams. I really loved her narration and understanding her world. I loved her voice and I, I just love that book and I would like more people to read it. The second one I put is Casey from Writers and Lovers. That was another person that I really felt like I understood emotionally and mentally, probably because it was such a character study of a book. Question number 10 is a book that made you cry. Uh, two books have made me cry this year. One is How We Fight For Our Lives. That one made me cry. I was literally in bed finishing and I was just like single tear single tear and I felt like Saeed Jones really just was like here let me show you all of my life and for that I was so appreciative and then another one that made me cry was a graphic memoir and it was Dancing at the Pity Party by Tyler Fredere and this one made me cry because of how heart-wrenching it is to read about losing people and grieving the grieving process but it was the way it felt like Tyler Fredere was really creating something to honor her mother and that made me cry I was happy and sad at the same time reading it Question number 11 is a book that made you happy. I put uh, Stand Up Yumi Chung by Jessica Kim, which I read for middle grade March and really lifted my spirits. I had like comedic aspects to it that made me so happy. And then I also put A Kind of Paradise, which is a book that I read also during middle grade March and it made me so happy because of the way that libraries and librarians and patrons are depicted in the book. It reminded me of why I like my job and again, read during a time when I could not go into the library so it was making me happy and fulfilling that kind of emptiness in my heart for not being at work. Question number 12 is most beautiful most beautiful book you've received or bought? Guess what? I haven't bought any books this year and I haven't gotten any books this year. I guess I could put like arcs but you know it's not I haven't bought any so it's fine and question number 13 is books to read by the end of the year i have many i definitely want to go back to my dream tbr and be more mindful of getting through all of those so definitely the ones that i put in my june tbr when i like hauled so many things there's always going to be more books huh i think that's it for me and this tag for the mid-year book freak out i feel like everybody's pretty much done this tag by now so if you haven't done it and you would like to do it i'm tagging you thank you so much for watching my video i will see you in my next one bye bye